Some good news for the tourism sector. Cape Town International Airport has recorded a 95% recovery in passenger numbers during the festive season compared to 2019. That's according to preliminary stats from airports company South Africa. To break down the numbers for us, let's bring in Mireille Wenger. She's the Western Cape MEC for Finance and Economic Opportunities. MEC, thank you so much for your time this morning. Um, I know pre prior to the festive season, we were expecting jam-packed flights um, with extremely high demand and certain constraints on availability of flights. What do the numbers tell us about how this festive season did compare to previous years in terms not only of um, air travel but of tourism in general? Thank you. Well, after some very grueling COVID years, we're absolutely delighted with the spectacular tourism recovery. Uh, the preliminary numbers from the airports company South Africa shows that for international visitors, uh, in December alone, uh, we had around 270,000 two-way international visitors, and about um, which, which is about a 95% recovery. And in the domestic um, two-way passengers, we're seeing about a 72% recovery. And all in all, for 2022, we're expecting that to add up to about uh, 8 million two-way passengers for Cape Town International Airport. Certainly great numbers uh, for the city. Uh, we see changing trends in terms of destination popularity. Would you say that currently uh, Cape Town is the go-to place in SA, or has, is this just something we've seen consistently throughout, uh, throughout time? Well, uh, Cape Town and the Western Cape uh, are a global destination of choice, and uh, the tourism and hospitality industry works very hard to encourage as many visitors from both near and far, uh, because tourism is so important for our economy and for job creation. And we're delighted that not only on the air front, but also on land, we've seen uh, very high volumes of vehicles traveling around and into our province, and also at sea. Um, we're absolutely delighted with the Cape Town cruise terminal uh, that is uh, breaking its own records. We saw on two occasions in the season so far, uh, two um, cruise ships parked at the same time. Um, we're also expecting 75 cruise ships coming in over the season, which is an absolute first for the cruise terminal. So you're MEC for finance and, and economic opportunities. Um, and, and while the influx of tourists is great uh, for the economy, the infrastructure has to be there to be able to support those numbers, um, especially when they're sort of uh, compacted over a, a short period of time, like the festive season, uh, you know, sees an, a, an influx over a couple of weeks. What have we seen in, in terms of recent closures of beaches um, and infrastructure overall in the province? How, how are we doing? So there's been an incredible amount of planning that's gone into it. Uh, we saw what happened in the global north uh, when uh, things started to open up post-COVID. And we immediately got to work to make sure that uh, we can prepare and really roll out the red carpet for our visitors. Um, however, the uh, impact of load shedding has been very difficult. And we've seen the strain that it's put on infrastructure, which has led to some of the things that you've mentioned. Um, and so certainly from a provincial side, we're working very hard uh, to make sure that we can mitigate the effects of load shedding as far as possible to make sure that our infrastructure uh, can maintain its normal operations, uh, which it would uh, normally be able to do were it not uh, under the pressure of the severe load shedding. It's very difficult to make predictions, of course, uh, but we'd like the recovery to be, um, you know, have to have longevity. Um, are, are you expecting to see the numbers sustained throughout the coming seasons? Yes, yeah, so what we're working, what we'd really like to see is not only recovery, but growth. Uh, and we think that our destination has a lot of potential to grow. Uh, and so throughout the industry, there's a lot of work being done to make sure that we can increase, for example, uh, air connections, um, so that we have more direct flights uh, into the province through our air access program uh, already. Um, it, as of this month, we've got 191 international flights coming into Cape Town per week. We'd like to see those, uh, those number, the number of flights uh, improve and increase, uh, as well as have new destinations coming into the Western Cape. Um, we're working to make sure that uh, we have new and exciting offerings. 
And of course, uh, uh, as you will have known, Cape Town uh, International Airport has uh, received another award. Uh, not only is it the best airport in Africa, but it's now also in the global top 20 for punctuality. We've seen several of uh, the restaurants in the Western Cape uh, bag top awards globally. And all of these things really do help to contribute to attract more visitors to what is really a wonderful offering that we have here in our province. With so many international flights coming in and with the recent closures of airlines, domestic airlines, uh, we've seen, what do you think the, the strength of our domestic uh, air situation is to be able to carry international tourists uh, not only uh, around the country but back to Cape Town where they're probably going to catch their flights uh, back to their, their international destinations? Um, well, I mean, we've obviously seen a pressure on the domestic front, um, and which has uh, caused an increase in um, ticket prices and ticket availability. Um, I do understand that, um, you know, that uh, there will be um, sort of an alleviation of that pressure as we go forward, but uh, it just didn't uh, materialize in time for uh, the summer season. But hopefully in, um, in months coming, we will be able to see uh, more flights added on the domestic routes, which should help uh, going into the future. With so much of the national uh, treasury budget going to SOEs and to just you know, the basic services, uh, what is the Western Cape uh, looking at doing in terms of big plans for the city to upgrade to make it more attractive to tourism? Well, I mean, we've... Um, we have uh, the city government as well as the provincial government that both have tourism as mandates along with the national government. Um, and so, for example, one of the things we've done is institute a tourism safety unit with law enforcement officers as a joint program between the province and the city. Uh, so aside from law enforcement duties, uh, this tourism safety unit also helps with information on where to go and to help in case of an incident. And uh, they've also been working very hard and they've assisted um, almost 500 tourists already and conducted over 4,000, I believe, uh, safety operations to make sure that uh, uh, tourists, whether they're local or from other provinces or from around the world, can enjoy all of our uh, tourism offerings uh, in the city as safely as possible. Well, thank you very much uh, for your time this morning and for speaking to us. Uh, that was Nare Wenger, the Western Cape MEC for Finance and Economic.